It's your favorite YouTube dealer. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. I was looking for some new stuff to get uploaded to the channel today because Fridays, a lot of music tends to drop. And I came across some Connor Price and Forrest Frank. It's called Up. Connor is ridiculously dope. Like, I'm happy that this kid gained some traction. I, I think it was through TikTok, which shows you that TikTok is really a smart play for a lot of people out there that are artists, which I don't know why I don't take advantage of it more often, even for just YouTube content and just cutting things up and stuff like that. So I, I, I got I to gotta, I gotta get my presence on TikTok a little bit more. But Connor was a smart man, did what he had to do. Also extremely talented. It's not just, oh, I was on TikTok, so I gained attention. It's I put a lot of work into this and it finally paid off is more so what it is. And it just happened there. And now my man's doing numbers in a lot of different places. So shout out to him. I don't think I know who Forrest Frank is, but every person that he's ever invited on songs with him has been extremely dope. So I don't expect anything different in this one. Let's dive into this and uh, let's see what my man's cooking with. I was down, but now I'm up. Yeah. This all got this ain't no love. Yeah. I used to be stuck in that mud. Yo, I like this. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. It's just got a certain vibe to it, but it's also the perfect song based on what I just said in the intro, right? He said he was down, but now he's up and something about it's not luck off to listen to the lyrics again. And, and I would agree with that, right? Like just because he's on TikTok, it doesn't mean that it was luck. Like this is one of those things where people are like, oh, you got lucky and you put something on TikTok and it blew up. But there was probably years and years and years of hard work of getting his skills to this level of, you know, trying to get attention, trying to find a way to get his music out there and finally caught that break. It's not luck. It's just years of preparation for that moment when the opportunity arised and he took advantage of it, which is a genius move. My it's a vibe. Like my name Lazarus, no Satan gonna be mad at this. I had to ask my dad if it's okay to swing my bat at this. He said, boy, if I pitch it, it's out of the park. Moving so quick, it's like they stuck in park. They see the numbers, but I see the heart. 10,000 hours you spent in the dark, putting in good work. Even though you didn't even know that it would work. Talk about a man who grew up in woodwork. Do it for the love of it, that's the way it should work. Yeah, yeah. See, he said exactly everything I was talking 10,000 hours in the dark putting in work on something that you never knew if it was going to turn out the way that you wanted to, right? Like that's, that's something that you have to do with anything that you really want to make it great in, right? Like you, you, you can't, there's no, there's no guarantees in life. Like you could work on YouTube, you can work on anything, music, you could work on a sport right throughout your life, grow up playing basketball, football, whatever it is, there's no guarantee that you're ever going to actually make it anywhere of substance that's going to pay out. That's going to, you know, make it all worthwhile. It's just more so a faith that you have to have in yourself and a dedication to the thing that you enjoy doing, that you really want to do. And you you kind of just hope that it turns out. It's not necessarily luck, though, because you worked hard for that. And, and I mean, I guess you could say, you could say there's some degree of luck to it to an extent, right? Because there's a lot of dope people that never get found out, right? So there is, but at the same time, it's just, it's, it's still the preparation that you put in and it's being smart. Like, I want to say Connor was doing some things like where he spun the globe, right? And would just put his finger and wherever it dropped, he would try to find somebody there that he can do a collaboration with. And I want to say that was probably a big part of him gaining more and more traction. And that's a, an idea that he had. It's not just luck that gave him that idea, right? So you can argue that there's little pieces of luck involved in it, but a lot of it is just taking advantage of opportunities, being creative, thinking of something new, and obviously working your ass off. I know some people gonna look at me crazy and I'm like, for what? Man, I was stuck. I was down, but now I'm... By the way, Forrest Frank, dope. I don't know about the name, <laughs> Forrest Frank, but he said that he was he was doing woodworking and stuff. So maybe my man's, you know, he's from he's from the sticks, and he picked the name Forrest Frank. But he's he's actually really dope at rapping. I'm up like a seesaw when I'm on a beat like an old man's lawn better keep off from the ground to the cheat tops got clouds on my feet like Jack and the beast I jumped off quick went straight in a free fall cowboy hat and a mic singing yeehaw landed on my feet like a feline put him back in the seat like a recline 
Ayy, what you mean I'm not worthy? Did it with a purpose, didn't need a permit. Dig it from the bottom and I brought it to the surface. Mind your business now, Ooh. who I worship? Who the See, it's the way that he delivers it and the end of the bar, he kind of goes up with no purpose. Like that little, that little difference right there, it just adds so much to the actual bar. Like it's dope. My man's a writer as well. And I like I like the line that he said about like an old man's lawn uh, keep off at like I'm gonna beat like an old man's lawn keep off. That reminds me back in the day there was this one person I feel like everybody growing up there was at least that one person in your neighborhood who you knew if you went on his lawn he was gonna get upset he was gonna bitch he might call the police on you. I feel like everybody had that one guy. I think his name was Archie. Now I'm up like a seesaw when I'm on a beat like an old man's lawn better keep off from the ground to the cheat tops got clouds on my feet like Jack and the beast I jumped off quick went straight in a free fall cowboy hat and the mic singing yeehaw landed on my feet like a feline put him back in the seat like a recline Ay, what you mean I'm not worthy did it with a purpose didn't need a permit dig it from the bottom and I brought it to the surface mind your business now who I worship who the little guy making big 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 moves tick tock turn it to a tick 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 boom yeah I talk a lot of stuff Probably thought it was a bluff Till I went and turned it where I was down but now I'm up uh, Let's go yeah. It's all God, this ain't no love yeah. I used to be stuck in that mud yeah. Let's go yeah, I, was I like this This was extremely dope. The only complaint that I could have is that I want a third verse. If it's just my man Connor, if it's both of them going back and forth in it or them splitting a verse or something like that. But at the same time, like, I get it, right? Like, here's, I, I think of it differently when I'm an artist. Like, I'm, I'm like, listen, a lot of people have short attention spans now, right? And they may think the same or they may feel like, you know what, this is, this is a song. This is it. Like, we don't need more to it. And it does get more replayability probably because it's so... Short, it, like I don't want to say it's so short, but it's shorter than like old school tracks, right? When you listen to songs from rap way back in the day, three verses was like that was what you expected every single time. Nowadays, it's really just two verses, and I think some of it is the shorter attention span, and some of it is like when I hear a song that I really like that's only two minutes and something seconds long, I almost feel like I'm more likely to replay it. I could be wrong. I mean, you still want to replay the songs that are dope with three verses, but you might replay that one song more because it's so short and you, oh shit, it's already over. I want to hear it again. Like, I don't know. That, that's how I think of it. I could be wrong. Um, and then also because of the fact that these get a lot of plays and stuff, it's like, listen, I could write a third verse or that third verse could be me writing for a whole nother song, right? A half of another song that's going to be two verses long. I don't know. Each artist has their reason for why they do it, whether they just feel like a song is complete after the two verses or because it's a collab. He's like, you get one verse, I get one verse, right? Not really a reason to go into a third and try to split it or do anything like that. Not to say that he never has. This isn't really just about Connor. This is, I just, it's a thing that I've noticed with some of his songs. And I feel like they, they, they're, they're so dope that I'm like, damn, I wouldn't mind a third verse. And then I start to think about, you know, the reasons behind it. And again, like I look at it, like people have short attention spans. People are cool with a song that only has two verses. They'll replay that song. They'll enjoy that song. So with the time I would spend on that third verse, I could just spend it writing a whole nother song. I work on the next song. So I, I don't know his reasoning, but that's just something that I find interesting that has changed over the years. And obviously a lot has changed other than that flows and the pockets people rap in and all this different shit. And I think this man is from Canada. So shout out to him because Canada has a lot of really dope artists from Lotus James to young stitch. Um, Quake Matthews, we just checked out his album recently, was extremely dope. I would recommend that to anybody. Um, ah, there's more people that I'm forgetting right now. Obviously, Mercules, like some of the ones that we all know. Um, Snack the Ripper. And I still feel like I'm forgetting some names because I've checked out a lot of dope stuff from uh, from Canada that is it is extremely fire. Shout out to my man Ty um, that we check out a lot of stuff on the live streams with. But Canada got some shit. You know what I'm saying? Canada got some shit. While well, you guys are watching this, I may be live tonight. Uh, this is Friday. I think that this is going to drop on my main YouTube channel, which is Dwayne TV. I may try a live on this channel at one point, but I've always done my lives there. So I just, I keep it there, even though I don't upload music related content there anymore. And all my music reactions are here, but I'm just so used to doing it there and people are used to it that I kind of just stick with it. But I don't know. One of these days, maybe we'll go live on this channel, see who pops in, see what happens and kind of go from there. But I appreciate you guys. Take it easy. Stay safe. And I will catch you in the next one, homies.